Martin down here. This is an alcove in the Ascot Hotel in Invercargill at the end of the day. And there are eight English entries in the event, all getting serviced here. The most prominent of them is Vince Bristow, who's had a pretty good day duelling with Jeff Judd. Some people have had some issues today. For some, it's been business as usual. And for others, almost everything that could go wrong has. Uh, sitting in there in a real tight duel with Jeff Judd. How's it going for you? You're just swapping seconds. Yeah, that's about it really. Yeah, just keeping him honest. Um, he's pushing me, I'm pushing him. So, yeah, we're having a go. So, catching up with Simon Tyso. All right? All good? Yeah, an excellent day. No problems, no issues. Just, yeah, just straightforward, easy day. Yeah. Get some sleep then. Yeah, I will do. All right. What about Jeff Judd? Sitting in front there, that's all pretty tight. Good day? Yeah, all good. Had a, yeah, easy day. No problem? No. Get, get some sleep and get a start tomorrow. Whereas on the other hand, John Spencer has not had a great day, but at the same time, has had a bit of luck, haven't you? Oh, I've had a lot of luck this morning. Um, we went steady through the first stage, just to make sure the car was good. Um, about two k's into the transport stage and went to change gear and it wouldn't come out of gear. Um, so I drove the five or six k's till where I met the service crew and uh, we changed the gearbox on the side of the road and because they'd cancelled the, uh, the 105k stage um, they allowed us quite a generous transport time to get to uh, Lawrence and which gave us enough time to change the box without penalty so uh, we we're quite lucky there and the rest of the day has been um, average I guess average from the driver um, but we're still here and um, I think I'll be back in the right frame of mind for the next two days. Another thing that happened in Dunedin this morning is that 12 more cars joined the field. They're in a separate division called the Silver Frond, and they'll only do three days and finish on Saturday with the others. The most competitive among them is probably Dean Buist in the Escort. How hard are you going to charge day one? Um, we were having a bit of a go. Obviously, we'd like to be able to be faster than all the other cars, you know, if possible. And today has been all right. Um, we lost a lot of time in that long stage from Shane and couldn't get past. Is that annoying? Yeah, it's a pain because I mean, I think the, with the rally safe, it's really good. But the problem is people don't bother looking in their mirror anymore. And he'd caught Dave Strong and I think he was a bit confused with what, what was flashing to him. And so, yeah, it was a bit. So these guys are on an eight day marathon. You know, I guess, you know, the cars are getting tired. One assumes the drivers are getting a bit tired too by now. Oh, you must, yeah, you do. You obviously you get less, suppose, less enthused as time goes by and, and we're fresh, you know, first day up. How do you think it works with the two of them together? Um, oh, I think it works fine, you know. Um, whether they should start halfway through the day, the biggest problem is with the seating and it's always hard the first day because like, with the seating they're like, teamed together and then after the team, you know. But that's just life. Another competitor in the Silver Frond is motorsport identity down these parts, Tony Quinn. But he says he's only just recently learned how to drive on gravel. It was a bit wet this morning and miserable and stuff, but it's better here now. This three day event, it's much more of a sprint, isn't it? How does that work? How do you think it works integrating with the rest of the field? I think it's perfect. I think it's a, the right thing to do. You know, because some guys probably can't afford or don't have the time to do the whole thing. And I think it just helps the event, helps the field. Good thing. So your tactics, I guess, you you got to go hard tomorrow? I don't have any tactics. <laughs> I, my tactics are to get home, because I've got to be in the USA next Wednesday. So I've just got to get home, spend a day in my own bed, and then off to America. That's my tactic. Tony Quinn there perhaps selling his talents a little short, as he's wont to do. The challenge, by the way, is still being absolutely dominated by Dave Strong in the little Civic. And our overnight winner of the ePay $100 voucher for Found Silver is Neville Kidd. We'll have another winner tomorrow, so make sure you keep an eye out for our little mascot, the Kiwi, in the back of shot of one of our clips.